just thought I'd do a quick uh, video. I started making this, so I thought, let's just do my camera. Um, I basically made a template that fits in there. For some reason, this side seems a bit lower. But anyway, I made a template. So I can make two sides for a box. So I can stick speakers and cup holders and maybe a little bit of storage, chuck some keys and stuff on. So this is what I've got. Just cut up an old box. minimal tools and uh, yeah I'm gonna make a wooden template right so these are on the scrap pile this is off um, a driving simulator I built a few years ago uh, I'd take it apart because it was too big for the boys bedrooms and they wasn't using it but I had these motorsport um, stickers on I got two motorsport uh, badges on the sides. I think I can use this if I cut out these I can do them both sides one there one there I can keep these what's the chances of that working anyway let's try right cut them out did manage to keep them, but I'm not too sure where they're going to stay. But I did manage to do what I say, or said, rather. Right, so this is going to be roughly the size of it. So I can stick speakers on the side then. And, uh, over the side. I'll just put that bit of cardboard up there just to steady it. I'm going to work out how wide I want it. And then figure out what's going to happen in the middle. So, let's do it. Right, so I cut a load of these, all the same size, for spaces. To go in the end to fix these two sides together. So, so far, we've got this. And uh, although they, they are in the right place, and they're exactly how I expected it to happen, um, I'm not going to keep the motorsport, because I don't do motorsport. It was on a it was on a driving simulator, so that's why that's why it's on there. So I'm gonna take them off and uh, probably just carpet this when it's finished. But uh now I gotta figure out what's going where. I think it out front, maybe a drop down compartment, something. And uh something at the top for drinks. I might cut this down a little bit and go and put it in the van now and see see uh, how it looks but I'm probably probably gonna cut an inch or so off straight across let's go and have a look in the van not sure what I recorded last but uh, this is the progress so far we uh, have cut the panels for, for the front and uh, the top it's gonna be thinking where I've drawn that line meets up with this piece here I'm thinking of cutting it there and then having it on a hinge so this front piece so this front piece hinges up you know could even could even have that overlapping maybe so I'm to grab uh, you know, I'm still thinking about so far. I've scraped that off, but it's still there. I've given it a little sand. Uh, I'm also thinking, take these down, like I said earlier, take these down a little. They seem a little high there, don't they? So they might come down a little bit, and uh, yeah, then I've got to think about where I'm going to stick the speakers and what's what. Because I think I'm going to probably speak it's next. It's going to be more of a speaker cabinet than a storage cabinet, I think. With a, a top tray with some drinks um, holders and a little 
pass up place for some change or whatever, you know. So, keep watching. Quick update. Cut that exactly the size. Mesh in the box, sticking some that's a rugel I got from America. Just think of some ideas. I think this this is gonna come down, I think. I'm not sure. Still unsure. But another coffee and uh but I think. See you soon. Right, another little update. Not sure if much have changed, but uh I've that I cut um ruled it down. I did have this piece on there. There like that. I thought it was a little bit too high. And it would sand it all nice. Um then the piece I cut off. Just looks a little bit cooler. Some numbers. <laughs> so the back's gonna be there. Not sure whether this is gonna open up or stay like that. Let's see. Well, Lev. You at the last bean? Good boy. One more, go on. Right, another quick update. Um, got some speakers, some Pioneers. Um, I used this, which was a template to mark circle roughly where I wanted it, and then transferred that onto there, both sides. Now I'm gonna cut it out and uh, stick them in. And as if by magic, holes cut. So I'll just cut one. Uh, I'll check this before I cut the other one. Not bad. Now we've got to figure out how these stick to that. Wish me luck. Right, both holes cut. You can see straight through. Uh, this is roughly how it's going to go. Still not 100% sure whether I'm going to have a lift up top here. But I probably won't actually. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut some holes for the drinks. I'll get something out, but I need to stick the speakers in first so I see. See how much space I got to play with. So this is not fixed. This is not fixed. Or this board's not fixed. So uh, it's ready for carpeting and sorting out. I've got a front to go on as well. So let's figure that out. Welcome back. This time we're in a workshop. Um, I just spoke to my friend VWNet. I needed some audio advice, like how to stick the speakers there and he showed he told me um, but he suggested because I've got two speakers either side that I put a divide and give them their own little boxes so I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to get a bit of wood in there divided so I think I'm gonna have to start by making another one of these let's do that I didn't take long, just made a quick template of that, so that's the same size, although I cut it down to the same level as where the top's going to be. So now I've got to cut out these bits to the best of my ability and see if I can somehow fit it inside there. Wish me luck. Right, that didn't take long. So I crudely, with accurate precision, sort of went round, you can see what I've done, wherever there's screws, cut a little piece out. So this is the first time I'm trying this because I didn't want to get it in there and not be able to get it out for this. So if that goes in there, oh, almost, almost, oh, come on, ooh. A little bit tight by there, and no, I just think it's the exact piece there. Let me mark it with a pencil. I'm going to take 
Fill that up a little. Oh, we're doing. Be back now. Right, that was literally two seconds. Just uh, took a little bit more off. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. So the idea is now to stick that in the centre and somehow fix it there. It's my next mission. No, my next mission is actually mark centre. Let's do that. Hey guys, so this is the next day. I um I put some bits of wood glued on there, by right there, and there's some um, in there. I take these clamps off now. Literally just woke up, so I'm back on it straight away. So now I'm going to do the same. On the bottom and then uh, over there just to give that a little bit more sturdiness and probably fill any gaps we're going to try and make two airtight sides so we'll be back all right another quick update put some more pieces in to uh, support this um, I went and bought some of these cap things, and I've cut cut that off on the bandsaw like that. And there's a bit of there's a bit of a lip there, but I went and bought a hole cutter, and I could only get a 76 uh, mil. Well, I needed an 80 to be honest, but I've had a few a little bit bit of messing around with some templates and stuff, cut some holes and some other bits of board. But I've just all I've done is just taped there where there's a lip, and that goes in lovely. So I'm not sure whether to use a thicker piece for the top, because I was just going to use this. Um, you know, you know, well, that will be fine. Let's do a test hole. The trick you holding the phone. Can I do this? Oh. Do a test hole. That would still work. Get in the way of the speakers too much. Mm -hmm. So it's not get in the way of them at all. And it stops any spillages going into the speaker cavity. Anyway, it's an update. Get back to you when I've uh, figured it out properly. Right, quick update again. Cut the second pot. Gotta put tape on it. Um, I cut the holes out of the top. I've also covered it with some of the lino. That is just on the back floor and also on the back shelf where the electrics are. So I thought that's a nice little touch. Um, this is still set in, so I'm going to wait until the glue sets before I cut, trim it up nice, and cut the rest of it. So that's just going to go over by there. Over by here, the workshop is an absolute mess at the moment. I'll check that up there. Um, yeah, so. Next, now, on this box, all this is going to be sanded down and covered in carpet. So I've done the divide. Still a few little things I'm going to stick. I've got some rubber that I'm going to stick inside there. And some parts. But um, next, I'm going to cover in carpet. I think. And I'm still not sure. This is just up there. I've got a smaller one I'm going to put up there. I think. I might just pull that forward. I don't know. Anyway, that's going up there somewhere. But I'm still not sure what to do with the front. 
I don't want it just plain, just carpeted. So, uh, still got to figure that out. So, keep watching. For another quick update uh, per carpet on this one side. It's all bits on it, it needs to be hoovered because it's sawdust everywhere. But uh, also, these cups, where I cut them and the edges like that, I've got this stuff I bought to go around, around the windows. And, uh, and it fits nice around the cup. Look at that. That gives it a nice, better finish. Um, I'm going to have to put tape on this one, the same as that one, so it locks it into place. But yeah, I'm going to do the same with that now. The trim, just a nice finish. You know? Right, be back with you soon. Another quick update. It's all happening. Got this in. Got carpet on the sides. Just got a bit of this that I used to uh, stick on some of the panels. I think I'm going to put on the front on this panel right there. So uh, let's get that done. It's a quick update. Uh, I keep forgetting what I filmed last, but that's basically done. All the cab is done. This still got to be glued on and painted again. And this that still haven't been stuck on. So that's. Uh, will be stuck on and I've got a stick piece across there to stop things rolling back but all the wiring's done it's all plugged into that all coming through mm. left myself quite a lot maybe too much some would say but I'm going to roll it up and and then stick it in the box but let me just show you I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fix it I'm thinking velcro to be honest a big velcro patch up there and uh, then a velcro patch on the bottom. Oh, look, I just built them over. Velcro patch on this. Velcro patch. Self adhesive over here. I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking. Right, here we go. So, next. Just stick the speakers in. Take all these pioneers. So that's going to go there. Um, I couldn't figure out how to uh, how to put that onto there. This is wasn't making wasn't making no sense. So I had to give Brian a call, VW nut, and uh, the mesh comes off. And then you can screw through there. Which uh, as soon as he told me that, it made loads of sense. Anyway, let's get that done. Right, so that is essentially finished. It's not um, stuck on Velcro, like I said, or anything at the moment. Um, it's pretty solid. It might move a little bit, but this still needs to be stuck on. So does the top. I'm not sure if I'm just going to use magnets for the top to hold that down, um, just so I can still access inside. I think it'd be handy. Might just get some magnets to hold that down. Um, that's got to be clear coated and glued on there. Still want something to go on there, not sure what. But for now, I will do. So plug it in, have a little listen. I'm gonna tell you. Right, that is pretty good. Um, this still needs a clean, hoovered up and sorted out. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy days. Now we got drinks holders. I think I do need to go and uh, get a. A McDonald's something. See if it fits in there. I'm just hoping that they do. They should do. A large Coke. Let's go check it out. Right, so just been to Burger King. Got a large Coke. This is the test. The large Coke. Well, it's a Fanta actually. 
Will it, will it go in there nice? Oh, oh look at that. Fan friggin' tastic. Happy days. Maybe we can even put the straw over there. That's still got to be glued on. And that's not fixed down, so. But it's essentially done. Have a listen to this. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna have my drink and uh, have my food, and I'll speak to you all soon. Peace out, bitches. <laughs>